Hey everybody, Dylan from Noble Records coming at you with another video. Um, it's 6 a.m. I'm at Noble Records at the shop going through a collection I just bought yesterday. Long story how it happened. I'll try to sum it up in a nutshell. I do want to tell the story because I think it's important. If you don't want to hear it, skip a couple minutes ahead and you can just look at the records. But um, So I got an email a week and a half ago uh, asking you know, if I'll be interested in a, a collection of metal. Metal's a one thing people ask me all the time for it. And around here, you just don't find it very much. It's very hard to come by. So, um, apparently somebody who watches my videos, Lewis, if you're watching this, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. Um, but he he recommended me to this guy. And, uh, and, and he sent me emails that, hey, my brother just passed away. He had a huge collection of metal, punk stuff. Uh, would you be interested in buying it? And I said, absolutely, I would love to. He sends me a spreadsheet of everything, and my jaw just dropped. I was like, holy moly, this is stuff you never see. So, um, I, you know, I said, I'd be very interested. We kind of started talking loosely about his expectations for price and everything. I thought it was like, it was it was, it was about reasonable what he wanted for everything. And, and so I said, well, I got to lay eyes on it before I can give you an offer because I really, you know, I got to be able to see condition and all that stuff. Um, and he said, well, everything's first press, everything's original, and everything's in mint condition. I was like, okay, well, we'll see. So um, I was supposed to go on Sunday to look. On Saturday night, I get an email that says, hey, listen, sorry, man. Um, you know, this other guy, it was a friend of my brother's, and he really wants the collection. Um, and yeah, I think he, he's willing to pay a lot for it. So I, I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to go with him since I know him and all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. You know, I called him. I said, hey, man, I, I really I understand. I said, I really would love to have this stuff. I'd love to get a shot at it. Uh, why don't you let me talk to the guy who is your brother's friend, and maybe we can split it. This is the long story short. So I called the guy, and I said, what are you looking for? He's like, I'm really looking for, like, black metal and stuff like that. Um, there's only, you know, I'm not interested in everything. I just want some of it. But he said you had to buy it all. I said, let's do this. I'll meet you there on Monday. You pick out what you want, and I'll buy the rest. And so over the course of time, we started talking. You know, he learned that I had a store. I was looking for some metal inventory. And he said, well, I'm just buying stuff for my own personal collection. I don't really need to buy everything. And so he was really nice, really generous. Um, he ended up only picking out maybe 100 records for himself, for his collection, and then leaving the rest of it to me. So it's about 1,000 records. Um... I went ahead and took out some of the stuff that you wouldn't care to see. Uh, you know, some of the classic rock stuff that you see all the time. Uh, that stuff I'm going to go ahead and take out. Uh, but also, you know, he, it was like any other collection. A lot of people have been asking me, is everything first pressed? Not everything's first pressed. There's a lot of reissues, but a lot of stuff is original, older older issues of stuff. Um, it just depends. Just like most people's collection, you know, he got a filler copy until he uh, could get an original in good shape. So it's all, it's all over the place. It's just like any other collection. Um, so there's, there's about a thousand here. I'm probably going to show you about 600 or so that are, are really good records. Um, so I'm going to be doing some flip videos and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to show you first, just some of the, some of the stuff you probably saw in the icon photo. Some of the really, you know, some of the cool stuff you might really want to see. Uh, he had a lot of Iron Maiden, so this is um, an Iron Maiden single, 45 RPM, uh, from from the self-titled Iron Maiden. Uh, this is uh, Women in Uniform, Invasion, uh, Phantom of the Opera. Pretty cool single, UK. Uh, Somewhere in Time. These uh, Iron Maidens, I believe, just from the look of them, are... So this is a reissue, but those are original press. Uh, this is an original press. Uh, Brave New World, A Book of Souls, this is a mini LP called Made in Japan, really, really cool, Running Free, I Remember Tomorrow, Wrath Child Killers, Innocent Exile, uh, Life After Death, never see these, I've gotten two in the past month, uh, Iron Maiden, Ace is High, this is a single, I um, believe it's... UK, maybe. Uh, Iron Maiden, The Trooper, single. Uh, Iron Maiden, self-titled. 
original press, Killers original press, uh, Power Slave, I believe is original press. Um, and these are in really good shape. Uh, Number of the Beasts, um, Seventh Son, Seventh Son. So uh, that stuff, I think that his maiden was really important to him because he, he, all that stuff's clean and it's all really nice original stuff. Uh, he also had some like newer stuff, uh, you know, Sleep. A lot of people like Sleep. Uh, Science is Sleep. This is another, that was one with colored vinyl. Don't know if this one is or not. This one actually is still sealed. Um, this is like a third man deal. Sleep. Mastodon. 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 And Mastodon. Uh, so lots of stuff like that. Um, you know, there's there's not a lot of punk in this collection, unfortunately. There was some, but the other guy really wanted the punk. And he had dibs on everything anyways. Um, so I really tried to be respectful of him since he knew the guy um, and make sure he got some of the stuff that he really wanted. It was a, it was very, very much a win-win situation for both of us. So um, this was really cool. Really tempted to keep this, but I won't. This is uh, Metallica and Justice for All, the 4LP 45 RPM box set. Really cool. Corner's a little banged up, but the vinyl's in great shape. Um, yeah, clo uh, Joy Division, Closer, um, Unknown Pleasures. I think these are reissues. Um, Nirvana, Hormoning, it's a live Australian 1992. This one's really sweet, kind of blue. This is a classic records, 200 gram pressing. Very, very, very nice. I'd probably go on the wall. He had a bunch of Bauhaus. That's one. This is original uh, press. Uh, New Order Substance. That's original press in really nice shape. Um, Misfits Earth AD. Uh, I know some Misfits stuff can be really rare uh, and expensive. I This is the second time I've looked at this stuff. The first time I looked at it, I bought it. So I have not really gotten in deep on the pressings. This one is, you can tell it's got a little bit of wear on the edges. It is an older copy. Um, so I'm, I'm going to look it up. I don't know. Uh, but that's a really cool one. I think that one's going to be a smash hit. Suicidal Tendencies, uh, Megadeth, and this is a King Diamond, the eye. Um, so I'm going to go around uh, and show you some other things and do some flip videos and all that stuff. During the flip videos, this is one I'm going to play. This is uh, James Harlow. This is the guy who, uh, this was his collection. So um, he had this album on vinyl. He had another album on vinyl as well. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be playing this during the video so you can kind of get a good listen to it. Um, in this collection, I ended up getting 20 or 30 of these. Um, and that, like I said, that was his self-titled thing. And his brother just said, hey, you know, I want you to take these and make sure that people get them that would listen to them and would want them. That's all I want. So um, this Saturday at the shop, I'll put all the details in the description of this video. This Saturday at the shop, I'm going to be dropping all this. So I'm going to price everything and have it out on the floor by Saturday morning. Um, 10 a.m. We open at 10 a.m. I'm going to have all this stuff out. And anybody who buys like several of these albums, while supplies list, I'm going to give you one of these for free. Um, I'm not trying to make money on these. His brother's wishes was to get these out and for people to listen to him. So these will be free. Really cool. Um, this is a Charlotte, Charlotte guy. Um, he had blue vinyl. Really cool. But anyways, come on Saturday, buy a few records, get, get this one for free. Uh, enjoy the tunes of uh, James Harlow. And I'm going to do a flip video of all this stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I got some great stuff here. This is uh, Space Ritual, Hawkwind, Wipers, uh, Still Life. This is Kamazi Washington, Charles Mingus, some jazz. Uh, this is Wayne Shorter, Herbie Hancock, Gratchin Moncor the Third. Um, this is another Bill Evans, Jim Hall, Undercurrent. It's amazing, amazing jazz record. Uh, Intermodulation, Bill Evans, Jim Hall. Miles Davis, Blow Fantasy, hello. Uh, I feel more uh, working with Miles Davis Quintet. 
believe uh, that's a reissue but oh look at this in the back 10 inch I didn't even ever see that um, Miles Davis milestones Soul Train uh, and all this jazz stuff is none of its original press but some good stuff Blue Train Ascension now that actually might be it's an older feels it feels a little older this one's like a late 70s press ballads um, Catonia, 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 some Judas Priest stuff. I was going to take that out. I know it's probably not too terribly exciting for you guys, but it's there. Um, Living Death, oh, Living Death, Lethal Programs, Laz Rockets. Oh, that's Loincloth, Loincloth. Uh, that might be one cloth too, I can't remember. This Masuga, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but it is what it is. Metal Church, another Masuga. Vinnie Moore. Motorhead, Ace of Spades, hello. Uh, MGTA, whatever that is. Rising Force, uh, Dead Milkman. It's the Electra copy of this, but it's a nice one, Too Fast for Love. Um, not sure what that is. Dead Kennedys. James Addiction. Lucera. Now, this is a metal soundtrack, or a metal um, compilation. Uh, metal Massacre 5. Um, and then there's Metal Massacre 4. There's two copies of that. A Max Warrior. This is killer speed metal. I love it. I actually have one in my collection. Uh, Yngwie Malmsteen. Uh, Man of War. Mayhem. Mayhem. I think out by the cares, but uh, loudness, Lucera, and Man of War. Now, uh, just to let you guys know, I'm sure you probably have already figured it out by now. I do not listen to metal much and I don't ever get it. So I'm gonna pre pronounce some things wrong. I don't care that it's wrong. Do not send me messages telling me how wrong I am, because I do not care. Uh, some other cool stuff, Armored Saint, Armored Saint, this one um, is autographed for a record store out of Columbus, Ohio. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, drunk Driver, whatever that is. Ministry, Iron Reagan, that's obviously a reissue, but uh, GBH. Nectar, really good stuff. Tom, hey, Tom Petty, what are you doing here? You're at the wrong party, dude. Some New Order, Not a Surf. Uh, Cerebus, a Cynic. Dark Funeral, Cynic, Cynic, except, um, whatever that is, ooh, this is a really cool one, Badlands, this is a really nice original press, still in the shrink, that's a killer, killer, Bolt Thrower for Victory, that's a, that's a sweet one too, that's, uh, I don't know. some more metal stuff, See, if, you, if you're going to, a little marketing thing, if you're going to make your logo like that, I'm not going to be able to read it. So, Black Knight, pretty sweet. Oh, some Black Sabbath. You can't have a metal collection without this Black Sabbath in your life. Great stuff. Candle Mass. Cities. Dark something this is a metallica picture disc it's kind of cool uh, hardwired to self-destruct that's backwards i'm gonna take that out Let me give us some more leverage here a uh, death human death live in la some uh other metal stuff a uh, sunbather that's a killer um Def haven is that what it is yes uh some more Def haven uh, ACDC, Fallujah, uh, more stuff I can't read, Exodus, Exodus, I can read that guys, great stuff, Exodus, Exodus, Exciter, Entombed, Emperor, uh, Death Row, Raging Steel, I think that, uh, it wasn't Tupac on Death Row, just kidding, not, not the same thing. Immortal, Hellstar, 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 
Hammers of Misfortune, uh, Hades, Forgotten Woods, this uh, Flotsam and Jetsam, a bunch of those in there, Fate's Warning, Fate's Warning, it's a bunch of Aphex Twin stuff in here, a bunch of that stuff. like an EP here. Oh, that's, um, yeah. Okay. 242 is a more Apex twin. It's like some sort of test press or something. Might be wrong about that. Don't know much about them. White Witch. Fly Snake. Uh, some of this stuff I forgot to pull out. Uh, this is really cool. Unknown Mortal Orchestra. David Torn, Totoro, Three Mile Pilot, Cheers for Fears. This is Steve Wilson, starting to get into, yeah, that was Steven Wilson. Steven Wilson, Steven Wilson. He had a bunch of Steven Wilson stuff. Uh, Irony is second gen. Spaces Nils France. That's that's gonna be a good listen there. This is uh, Deru. There's a couple of these Deru. Calm Trues. This is like an instrumental ambient thing, I think. Um, yeah, Calm Trues. Ooh, DJ Shadow. This is another Deru. Two. That's uh, Four Swords. This is uh, Bibio P. Deluge, William Basson. This is uh, in another language. We got your classic Overkill. This is, I believe, an original 93 press of this. Um, I think they only did... Uh, oh gosh, I can't remember what country. Korea, maybe? They only did 93 press. Uh, Virgin Steel... Venom, Venom, more Venom, some Ozzy stuff, Oz, Fire in the Brain, Odin, gosh, look at that cover, so cool, Obituary, um, something, Nasty Savage, Nasty Savage. Nasty Savage. This is, uh, some. Wild Hunt. Wilt. Warrior. Claus Schultz stuff. Marilyn Manson, Craftwork, Lamont, a legend in his own mind, aren't we all? Uh, Lion, this is like some dub stuff. This is Killer Magma. This is uh, Henry Cow. This is Hella. Another Hella. This is a bunch of Hendrick stuff. Michael Hedges, uh, Alan Holdsworth, Gentle Giant Live, and then a crap ton of Genesis stuff. Andy Summers, Robert Fripp, the Peter Gabriels. Uh, we got some Pink Floyd stuff. Of course, Crimson King.
Alright, we got a bunch of camel. That's not the UK. Camel, camel, camel. Ah, uh, this is Caravan. Land of Gray and Pink. This is a fantastic record. Uh, absolutely incredible. This looks like a UK repress. This is a uh, Crime and Choir. Uh, the Colt. The Colt. Colt. Some cool. Some cool cure, cure, some cure stuff. Now, these are really cool. Japanese on vertigo. Japanese Death Leopards. Being on the Heartbreak single. Bunch of Devo. Docking. Door stuff. Doves. Drake. Dylan. This is beach fossils. This is Errol Garner. Now, now look at this. Errol Garner says, when I'm not playing jazz, I'll listen to Budgie. I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical of the authenticity of this autograph. I'm just saying. It's hilarious. Uh, but then there's Budgie <laughs> on the back. Why is that there? I don't know, but it's very funny. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's two records in one sleeve. That's really funny. I don't... Bob Polaroid. Adrian Below of the Crimson. Uh, Jeff Buckley, you and I. And James Brown. Now, this is Boris Pink. Now, I gotta say, this one's not gonna be available because I'm saving this for a good friend. You know who you are, David. Uh, he's been asking me to find this for him, and I did. There it is. But there's some more Boris. Some Boris... Um, here, and then this one's also Boris Vane on clear vinyl. Some Bowie, some Beatles, a bunch of Beatles stuff in here. Uh, there's Bauhaus, Bauhaus. This one, this is like a two or three hundred dollar record. Uh, this is called Human Est, but this is uh, the band is called Era. This is like a prog. I think some sort of prog album, but this is a reissue. I was really hoping, saw this on the spreadsheet, I was hoping it was original, and it is not. Some Beatles. Uh, these are, there's are one reissue in American Football, and there's one that's an supposedly original. Pelican, Pelican. Pelican's great instrumental, like post-rock stuff. Pelican, 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 Jaco Pastorius. Corrosion is autographed by someone. Whatever that is. So be this. Solstice Sanctuary Sanctuary Queen's Right. Queen's Right Rat. Chris Poland, uh, Pariah, and um, Opeth. This is a really super rare one. Um, Symphonic Holocaust. This is more tame than Cabra. Mono. Mono is another like post rock, really good post rock band. Instrumental. Mono, mono, mono. Uh, Space Boy sounds. Uh, this one's really rare too. This one's called Ruth. Um, yeah, it's uh, super, super hard to find. Very, very easy. Really, really. um, Porcupine Tree. Okay, Porcupine Tree. Band called Floral. Uh, Fleet Foxes. Mac. Salt Garden. This is uh, Dean's from NK's favorite album, actually. Don't tell anyone I said that, but that's his favorite. Here's some more stuff. This is Isaac Oce Oceanic uh, box set. Fela Cootie, uh, Brian Eno, okay. more Genesis. Um, Eric Schwoll. Oh. 
can drink rain. Show you some of these also, uh, some seven inch stuff. Um, this one particularly, this is probably the best one that was in there. This is uh, the Invaders. Really clean picture sleeve and everything. There's barely any records of these selling, but it's a really rare garage seven inch. That was in there. That's probably the best one in the batch. It's called the Lions uh, Generation. It's a box set. Metallica, creepy death. Look at that. Metallica, Eye of the Beholder, original press. One, really cool. Metallica. Uh, this is not sure what that is. Um, this one's called Taming the Outback. Really rare. I think there's only 75 of these made. Alright guys, thanks for watching. As you can see, it's a disaster back here. I tried to get everything in the video for you. I know there's some stuff I didn't show. There's so much stuff in this collection. Crazy stuff. And I actually picked the things out that I was going to keep. You didn't even see that stuff. So, you'll have to stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, hit the subscribe button. Uh, subscribe to us. And there's a link in the profile if you want any t-shirts, hats, hoodies, anything like that. We've got lots of great stuff on our website for sale. Uh, we don't have any vinyl on our website for sale yet, but don't worry, working on it. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.